Hi everyone, today we're going to make another video with this interesting device. This is the Lenovo Moto for G4 Play and it's a budget phone that we've uh, showed you in another couple of, of our videos but today we're going to look specifically into the multitasking capabilities of this device. Um, you can find probably online some reviews of this one and most of them say that this is a good device for a hundred pounds that will pay for it or hundred and fifty dollars in the states uh, but the multitasking is not brilliant so we want to check uh, how much of this is really um, really true. So first of all, I will launch a, uh, launch a couple of applications such as games, Tempo Run 2, uh, we have Piano Tiles 2 as well, we have Asphalt 8, and I will try and switch between, uh, between those. Obviously I have to install a few things before I can start. Uh, and then I'll open uh, some of the most frequently opened apps uh, that we have pre-installed on this device as well. Uh, I'll check how smooth the transition is between different processes and how this little phone, well, not, not that little, it's 5-inch display that we have here, uh, handles these. So, let's go ahead, I will open this, so now I have this installed. I will remove everything from here, from the processes. And first of all, actually, I want to show you something before I begin. I'm really sorry, but um, I want to show you something just to confirm the version of Android that this one has. So this is Android Marshmallow 601. Uh, there is no newer version. I have checked just before I started the video, and this is the up-to-date uh, version that we have. The security patch level is only from July. I don't know why there isn't anything newer than that. Okay, so I'm hiding this process, killing it, and I'll try and start the game again. And I'll do the same thing with a couple of other applications, as I said before. Obviously, it connects to Google Play Center, because it's an Android device. Okay, I have a randomly selected account name. So the volume up and down buttons are a bit confusing for a Samsung user. I'm used to uh, having them on the other side. So if you are not sure uh, how, to, how to do that there on this side. So there we go. Let's see how loud this will be. Okay, it's not too bad and it's on Halloween theme because it's almost Halloween, almost the end of October. So, so far so good, gaming experience is quite good, uh, the phone deals well with graphics, um, we have tested it with a couple of other games such as Pokemon Go and uh, Modern Combat 5, it was, it was fine, uh, we couldn't really f find any faults. Okay, I think that's enough from this game. What I'll do is I'll try and open Piano Tiles now. Piano Tiles 2. I'll try and be as quick as possible and I'll start the game. So we can see how this phone is dealing with uh, multitasking. Oh, okay. Everything is Halloween themed now, so... Don't be surprised why you're not why your games are not looking the same if you're not watching it in October when we have filmed it and published it. Okay, so there we go. We have two games in the background. I'll start Pokemon Go as well. Actually, I'll leave it to load, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen in the background. We'll have to wait and see. So we'll wait for Asphalt 8, that will probably take a little bit longer, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's loading. I'm wondering if I do that and go back to Pokemon Go, if Pokemon Go will be already opened. No, obviously it's pausing uh, the processes, um, They, if they're in the background, they're hidden away uh, in your multitasking uh, screen of apps, um, they are not continuing to run. Um, you can probably tell that Pokemon Go took a long, long time to load, which is 
strange to me because I'm used to it working on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge working pretty decently in terms of speed very very fast okay so go back here and we will have resume okay come on little phone where is my piano task okay so it's restarting the process I, I don't have my progress with piano uh, tiles um, saved and that's a bit annoying so I will go to tempo run and I want to see what will happen there okay the game as well is being suspended as such uh, the, the whole application uh, is now restarting and I need to wait again for the whole thing to load okay so this means multitasking so far uh, I'm not very impressed I will launch the camera as well so this is the camera I want to also open uh, YouTube and start playing a video, just a random advert. So leave it like that. I would also like to open the browser and open a website which is ours. This is our website if you don't know already guys, ourusereviews.com. We try to publish as much as possible news about devices. You can see mostly smartphones, but we also cover other tech and gadgets. So these are uh, quite a few processes now that we have. Um, it seems that there is no lag when I try to do that, you know, switch between them in terms of just to see what's open there. But in terms of how quickly it takes to the phone to actually load the actual application, I think it's a bit on the slow side and obviously all of the processes uh, as well are being suspended and they start from scratch when you try to open them again. So as Fout showed us this, uh, let's see YouTube, yeah this is on pause, um, then the camera, okay decent not not too slow let's see tempo run if it's going to start again yeah it starts from scratch and you have to wait for the whole game to load again i'm a bit annoyed uh, i don't think that's that's brilliant to be honest let's see piano tiles too and that will be the last um the last application i will try because obviously these are the results Nothing too exciting to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more from a phone that has play in his title but you know for $150 probably not too much to be expected but anyway I am curious what you guys think about it, I'm not very impressed, it's a nice phone uh, for the price it looks nice, uh, I mean it acts okay, it's not too bad at all, I don't want to be very dramatic but it suspends uh, in multitasking mode, it suspends uh, the applications, it, restored, it starts them and you need to wait a long time if you want to switch from one app to the other and uh, never mind from one uh, very uh, heavy game to another game application. So let us, uh, let us know what you think, if you agree with me that this phone is kind of okay but a bit disappointing because it is Moto G4 Play after all. So let us know what you think guys in the comment section as usual. Thanks a lot for watching, click the thumbs up button if you like the video and we will see you in our next one. Bye bye!